A breaking story involves a man accused of being a serial rapist, officially charged in a rape and home invasion. Today, he faced a judge in Garden City, and 7 Action News had the only camera in the courtroom as we streamed it live on WXYZ.com. The man from Redford is accused of several rapes and home invasions, but he's only charged in one case at this point. Let's go live to 7 Action News reporter Shelley Childers. Shelley. Joanne, we learned this man is 32-year-old I.K. Smith. Both his mother and father were in the courtroom as these charges are read against him. Here in Garden City, he's charged for one case of rape but is facing multiple counts of criminal sexual conduct and one count of home invasion. Here's a look at him as he was in court today. We weren't able to show you his face because he is still connected to other cases that are under investigation and he has not been charged yet in those cases. The 32-year-old is from Redford and in court today, we learned that he is charged for breaking into a family's home while they were sleeping. According to court records, it all happened last November. He broke in through an unlocked kitchen window. He found the wife asleep in the living room alone, and that's where the sexual assault happened. DNA from that assault in Garden City was preserved. Dearborn police arrested him earlier this week. They ran that DNA sample on him, and it connected him back to this case here in Garden City. In court today, his mother broke down as she listened to the details of this case. She tells us she is shocked and angered by his actions. I just want people prayers and I go, my heart goes out to the victims, most of all, because they didn't deserve any of that, any of that. They didn't deserve that because I look at it as it could have been me. It could have been me. The bond in this case was denied. The judge cited because he is linked to a significant number of other criminal sexual assault cases. We know that he is wanted in at least seven other jurisdictions for these rapes, for these accused rapes. The mother will be speaking with us throughout the day. We'll hear more from her coming up in later editions of 7 Action News. From reporting live from Garden City, Shelly Childers, 7 Action News. What heartbreak and disbelief for that mother and probably a lot of relief for the victims out there. Shelly, thank you so much. We look forward to more later. Now to more.